Hello everyone, welcome back to Ogre Battle 64. In the last episode, we learned, or I suppose suspected, that Lotus, the Holy Lotus Empire, is going to attack the Eastern Orthodox Church, so we are on our way that away. Between episodes, I tried to have Slappy earn another Elemental Pedra. He failed, and unfortunately, we ran out of money for another attempt. We have less money than I want. I want 3000 in the bank. I decided to risk it. Didn't get the Pedra, so here we are. We have less money and no Pedra. But we do have names. John Doe has been named and Jane Doe. Jane Doe has been named Perika after Mark, who also gave us the uh, Aethel name. And Jam Starro had us name the character Jam Starro. Pretty simple stuff. And he has an attack child just for him. Actually, he has... He has a weaker attack child. I forgot to give him the stronger attack child. Let's say boop and boop and... Oh yeah, the Slappy doll. There we go. So, now he's attacking with a mini Slappy. Because that's not weird. So... Oh shit, I need to reorganize the screen. I looked ahead a little bit of the next stage. It's probably going to be time skip heavy. So it might be a short video for you. Even if it's going to be a long battle for me. Let's get to... Ghoul's Jewels Hills. Scene 20, Brigade of the Radiant Cross. And I have my FAQs open just in case, but I don't think I'm going to need them. Lois delivered an official address in Winnea. What do they say? They're planning to temporarily annex Palatinus. Yeah, temporarily. To protect its people from the activities of the revolutionary army. Once the kingdom regains stability, the status of independence will be returned to Palatinus. In theory. Who would believe that? They're just trying to justify their invasion. It's not necessarily untrue. In fact, it is a fact that the kingdom and its people have been upset by our actions. The nobles who fear that they will lose their social status and those who are indifferent to what's going, around, going on around them. Hold on, I have to make a heart to the Akamura because she's going to work. Bye, the Akamura. Bye. They will gladly accept Lotus. Aw, you're cute. They will gladly accept Lotus as the savior. But... Lotus has also declared that there will be no peace accord with the revolutionary army. This makes contact with the Eastern Orthodox even more difficult. Um. Let's get started. In the west lies Fort Bergiga. Sure, we will use it as our headquarters. Our destination is the Gunther Hall Station, located a day and a half to the northeast. We must take control of Gunther Hall. Let me give you a short geography lesson. Jules Hills is the crossroads between Alba, Captrium, and Latium. To reach Catrium, you must pass through Gunther Hall. Our intelligence indicates enemy troops are marching on Fort Begiga. Enemy troops are also reported in the vicinity of Gunther Hall Station. They're desperate to keep us from the Eastern Orthodox Church. Things will get hectic here very quickly. We should plan accordingly. Nothing will be easy now that Lotus has mobilized. Be careful. Alright, so basically, this entire battle is turtling against the enemy's massive uh, uh, attack. So, we're going to release the nine weakest units. We're going to have St Slappy take a step back because he's already way too powerful. Uh, luckily, there are no cockatrice units in this fight. So all we have to do is weather the storm, and then we will go out and capture all the cities. The second phase of this battle will be pretty quick. We can only believe in what we're doing, and continue forward. Yep. I believe in getting a shitty ending. So that is what we are doing. So we're going to have Sta Slappy take a step back because he's got way too many experience points as it is. And the others have to- whoa. My recording software freaked the fuck out. I hope nothing broke because these are long episodes. Okay, so I'm going to take Slappy a step back and we're going to dispatch the nine weakest units. Try to get some experience points going. Ah, shit, I should be telling them to 
face this way. But Slappy can watch our rear, and uh, hopefully everyone else will be fine. I don't even need to, to dispatch the units that capture cities. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. <laughs> um, I did a little bit more research. Kalen is still our most evil unit, but Cute Shaman is no longer our most good unit. In fact, he's not even in the top four, I don't think. The most holy unit right now is Slappy himself, which is weird. And, but Ryu is among the most uh, highest alignment people, which I think he's gonna find extremely happy because that means his cause is now a righteous one. His, his cause of massive nukes. Like, you guys see this shit. We've, we've adjusted Ryu's unit between episodes. I don't remember if this was in the last one. Here's Ryu's unit. Ryu himself has the Book of Bane, which is the death book. And he's surrounded by guys who throw fireballs because these two have fire naturally. And then Indy here has been given the Book of Flame and Buzz here has been given the Book of Flame. I just realized Indy is not, whoever's in the front doesn't have a good wand. He should, wait, who doesn't have? Oh, it's him. Hogan doesn't have a good one. There we go. So, Ryu's unit is also incredibly stupid. Like, you should never have a unit that looks like that. You know what? I could even protect Ryu. I could protect Ryu by putting him in the center rather than having him in the back. There we go. So anyway, this is uh, Ryu's unit, and it's incredibly stupid because you should not have this many, uh, that many wizards, especially having a wizard in the front row. And yet, and yet, this is going to work fucking fantastically, probably. But Ryu won't participate in this one because he's too strong. Uh, I'm sure he will participate in a battle or two. All right, so we see the first of the military coming at us. Three knight units. I'm not too worried because we are backed up by nine plus Slappy. So they can go ahead and capture cities as much as they want to. What are they doing? I think, yeah. It's still gonna count as a capture when we grab it, no matter what unit stands on it. Are they just trying to hit us from different angles or? Here comes unit number five, and now the battle star- Oh, they're trying for Slappy and uh, specifically. I see what's going on. So the enemy is going to have a ton of defense, as you can see, but everybody should be set to attack later. And as with the last battle, our first mission is to try to get these guys leaderless as fast as possible because then we'll be able to hunt them down at our leisure and they will be crippled and won't be able to run away to heal. They can only use items. This one looks like it's just about an even fight. They have more attackers than we do. But I think we're gonna get more attacks. Oh, actually, yeah, we're hitting a lot harder too. So, we should be all right. There's one success. Um, the only thing I'm going to do differently this time is not going to be seen by you. In the last episode, I did not intelligently hunt down units. I just sent dudes all willy-nilly, which is why we had several problems, including uh, losing a couple people to the cockatrice who came out of nowhere and decided to attack me. Um, and just wrecked my ass. Oh, he's got the closed helmet, so... What? What? Ha, Sword Art Online reference. All right. Man, this is a good first unit to deal with. Cute Shaman is no longer the most holy unit, like I said, but that doesn't mean he's weak. In fact, quite the opposite, with two paladins and a phalanx in the front. We are in very good shape here. 
we hit a lot harder than I thought we would, too. Team Shaman is very well trained. He's got tons of experience points. But luckily, he won't be the one hunting down the units. Because he's a bit on the strong side. Oh, one of these. I didn't even notice they had two priests. Oh, that's annoying. That's super annoying. Because we won't be able to hit them hard enough to take all their hit points away. Oh. I'm sure we're going to win this fight. Because they didn't do that much damage to us. It's just... Oh, wait. Oh. Well, that's not bad. We did all right then. And I forgot, the pallies will have one extra attack compared to what the priests can do, so we'll win that one eventually. All right. Here come even more units. I'm thinking about getting slappy. Oh, okay. Like, the vanguard is about to be hit from the back, it looks like. I may have to get Slappy to move a little bit away from this whole situation in case someone comes after him specifically. But then, then again, if everyone is charging Slappy and Slappy is in a weird location, then no one else is going to be gaining any experience points. And that's part of the reason why we do this whole rotation system. If I just wanted to win, I would just have Slappy do all the work and be done with it. In other news, I'm also breathing better, so hopefully this will be a lot easier for me to edit because I won't have to stop every friggin' 20 to 30 seconds to get rid of a sniff into the bike. Alright, cute shaman's doing well, but someone's about to be hit from the back, I think. Nope, he turned right at the last second. I wonder why cute shaman's getting priority over everybody right now. I might send in Slappy to deal with this unit just because of how obnoxious it is. Yeah, that's precisely why. Well, at least they burn their heals already, and it's good to see the priest burn a heal pointlessly. Man, that guy's blocking a lot, though. The other nice thing about fighting in this way, like, keeping everybody in the headquarters, is if there's a unit that isn't just quite working out or we need a specialist or something, I can immediately retreat one of them and bring out whoever I need to to make things a little easier on me. Speaking of which, let's try Pedra. Okay. That's... It didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. My intention was to weaken... Oh, no, wait. Yes, it worked! I just wanted to weaken the leader enough that we could then take him out because now this unit will fucking leave me alone for five seconds. And then when we take this unit from its rear, we'll be able to hit the priests, and the priests will only have one heal at peace, and it'll be a lot easier to deal with. All right, Awesome. Damn, Cute Shaman is really rocking this here, and I guess I've got Slappy in an okay position because even if they're coming after Slappy, they're still running into the Vanguard instead. And this unit can't heal, but it's going to do a lot of offense. The Cleric and the Valkyrie are in danger, but oof. At least the damage will be split between them rather than hit only one of them. And this is why you spread your people out in the back row. Especially those who can't take very many hits. Like, the Valkyrie is a little weakened being on the far right. For offense purposes, she should be in the center, but splitting her away from the Cleric is defensive in nature. And Cute Shaman may need to retreat soon because he's getting the shit kicked out of him. It's all right. It's all right. Cute Shaman can take a loss. Got plenty more units in the queue or whatever. Galadriel's turn. And this should be easy. The leader should go down right quick. Mm, those are heavy hits, though. Oh, very heavy hits. All right, Pyrrhic victory for them, because there's no way we're going to out-damage them at this point, but... 
At least they're leaderless and we can hunt them down later. You got this, ladies. And Aethel. I mean, and Sabelle. Oof. In a field pause. I want to know where we're at at this point. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to just retreat this unit. Well, it won't matter. It's leaderless and now it's disrupted. The enemy, that is. Uh, Sheen gets to attack now. Okay. We haven't seen Sheen fight yet, have we? Let's go, Sheen. And we have them on a... We took their flank, so they're at a very strange angle to us. In our favor. The archers are going to do a lot more damage. Well, maybe not. Paladins are hitting pretty hard. Bam! But that's your only healing you get, bitch! Oh, that should be a victory for Sheen. And I'm field paused because I will need to send those two units of ours who got disrupted back to the headquarters. I changed my mind about retreating them. I think they'll be fine. But they need to at least stand there so they heal. So, grab Galadriel. And we grab Cute Shaman. Action. And it looks like Aethel will get... Where is he going? Yup, he's going after headquarters. Oh, it's VCAP. VCAP gets the call. All right, VCAP, it's been a while since we've seen you in action. Let's see what you can do. Pretty balanced unit, I believe. Shouldn't have too many problems here. Double fireball! Suck it! Ow! Alright. So far, so good. Looks like we're gonna do fine. Another double fireball. Damn! I think our, uh... Problems are finally slowing down. Everyone seems to be pretty strong. Because we were losing fights left and right for a while there during this campaign. Yep, here come... Flyers. We'll see what they're gonna do. Cute shaman, okay. Wasn't sure whether I needed to worry. Looks like we've got this pretty well in Oh, come on. That's what do I get for having faith in you? Land your shots. Not you jerks. Uh, at least the front line isn't going to be hit very hard on in this. Uh, even with that first round, we might pull off the win here. Mm. Mm. Ah. All right. My problem is. If uh, shit. That's what I was worried about. I needed to heal Galadriel and I hadn't done it. Oh, Galadriel. That's not good. That's less good. God damn it. All right, we'll retreat Galadriel. Hold it together, everybody. I was lucky. If he had decided to windshot the cleric, we would have been pretty damn decked. That's good. Now they're leaderless. If the unit won, I'm going to retreat him. Okay. Not yet. Phew! Excuse me. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Um. Galadriel and Cute Shaman, please return to here. Cute Shaman can stay out. Galadriel needs to retreat. 
At least until we get her sorted. Bam. Bam. I picked that up from Kalo, by the way. The get her sorted. That's not really a, an American phrase. That's definitely more of a British phrase. If anything, in America, we would say sorted out, not sorted. Regardless, we need to fix her, and we will fix her. Damn, Sheen's unit's pretty decent. Yeah. Solid damage. Good job, Sheen. Proud of you. Alright. We've got a breather. I need to get Galadriel to retreat immediately. Cute Shaman is okay, but Galadriel is not. Good, she's close enough. Okay. Galadriel is now out, and Parika is now in. And this is why we have a deep bench. And once we find the Witch's Hut, we'll get Galadriel's wounded back among the living. Ah, the burb just kind of... Ah, that was cute. Oh, whatever. Come on, baby. Oof, that hurts. If he gets a second one of those, I'm definitely going to have to heal up Cute Shaman's unit with, t with uh, heal leaves. Because they are hurting. Yup, okay. Hold it together, Q Shaman. Nice job. Okay, so we just need to heal leaf Q Shaman to the hell and back. Unit commands. Been a while since I played. Okay, heal leafs for everybody. And if Cute Shaman or any other unit runs out of items, we can retreat them for the same reason. So I love turtling up in Ogre Battle. You have a lot more options when you are able to retreat and use your bench. Especially since in our case, our bench is the are the strong units. Like, if we need to bench so hard that we get Ryu out here, then, you know, nukes aplenty. I should take advantage of that. Oh yeah, there is something glitching on my fucking... What the hell's going on? What are you doing, Gold Wave? You better still be recording my voice or I'm gonna kick your ass. Alright. Let's go, Q Shaman. I'm trying to see if I have any programs open I shouldn't have. Yep, let's close that. I don't know why I have Steam open. I certainly don't need Steam open. See if we can recover a little bit of RAM here. All right. Uh, that's gonna be the weirdest unit to try to get to since I can't get to their leader other than with magic. This would be where Ryu would come in handy. No reason to use the Pedra. They're not hitting us very hard. I mean, two of their attackers are basically non-attackers. So, yeah, it was, it was easy, and we didn't even lose that many hit points. All right, we're good. All right, push them away. So we've got, what, two, four, five, six leaderless units, I believe, and then two non-leaderless units that are still attacking us. Mop-up duty is going to take me a while, but it won't take you guys very long to watch it. Come on, guys. Damn, that hits. Well, that, that one didn't hit very hard. I wonder why. I must be tired. Remember, the stamina is an important part of this game, and if a unit is fatigued, they won't hit very hard, which is yet another reason why I like playing defense. That windstorm is doing fuck all now. It's hurting Troy a little bit, but nothing we can't overcome. Excellent job, everybody. Way to play. Okay, I believe it's one more unit that we have to deal with, and then we can be on mop-up duty. But again, this one is going to be 
This one's going to take a little bit of time to get to. Um, I'm like arguing with myself whether to Pedra because we clearly don't need a Pedra. We're doing tons of damage. But if we use a Pedra, it'll hasten the process a little. I just, I don't like using my Pedras unless I need them because it's good to have them for, you know, bosses and such. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not even necessary. And once we get all six Pedras, we can start using them a little quickly. More quickly. I almost said quicklier. That's not a word. A little more quickly because... Oh, bam. Well, there goes their leader. And there goes another unit. Wow, character. Well, we've left them with two fairies. Yeah, it's, they're not going to be able to stop us. All right, so that's the first phase of this battle. The next phase is going to be mop-up duty, so I will see you guys in a one-second screen wipe. Well, that was a short screen wipe, wasn't it? You, uh, there's another unit coming at us, so we're going to see what he's all about. Aethel has been dispatched to handle any mop-up duties, since he is the weakest unit that we have right now. But this should not be... Wait, this is actually a lead... This unit has a leader? He's just running away? Really? That's weird. Well, let's fuck him up. Ow! Holy shit, I don't even know if we're gonna win this one. God damn, that hits hard! Lost a soldier in the process. That's all right. Aethel, take your lumps. You're going to have to get stronger anyway, so we may as well just keep hunting that unit down. I just want to make sure that he's healthy. Uh-oh. That is a little bit more of a problem. Let's get Aethel healed up. We'll burn three heal leaves. One for each of the middle column here. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna wait to see what that unit does because if I don't want Aethel hit from the flank. I should have turned him. Everything in my instinct was telling me to turn him and I didn't turn him. All right, let's see how this works. It'll, let's see, the two witches are going to keep my cleric in check. Soldiers aren't in a bad way. Now they're in a really bad way. Oh, that was a bad call on my part. Bad call. And we're not gonna have very many attackers. Ooh, I didn't realize Leia gets an area attack from the rear. Shit, man. Oh, there go all the soldiers. All right, we're going to use the quit gate. Oh, I, oh, I tried to pull the Pedra. All right, we're going to use a quit gate and replace those soldiers and re-dispatch Aethel, depending on what direction. Oh, no, never mind. It's not even necessary. All right, Aethel, please return to base. Fucking now. The only reason that happened was because he was hit from the rear. If he had not been hit from the rear, he would have been fine. All right, Aethel, please return to base. Ugh, lost three soldiers. All right, so we're going to hit the organized screen. And we're going to... Uh, unit add soldiers there. Okay, we're going to re-up their items. All right, cool. And then redispatched. Um, he's pretty hurt, so I'm gonna let the number two unit go. That's Talithia. Talithia, start hunting enemies down. Sure, it it does not matter. Just go. So by the time this unit heals up, Aethel should be healed too, and he can answer when the unit charges back again. Or maybe it'll be uh, maybe it'll be cute shaman who he attacks. 
Oh, here he comes again. Yeah, he's healed up. That's all right. Yeah, we would have been fine if we'd hit them from the hit them properly. Okay. Yes, get your healings out of the way now. That way you can't do them later. This is probably a bad mop-up unit. This is why Talithia needs some experience points. Round two against this unit, and this time it's Cute Shaman who's facing them from the front, and I forgot to turn the battle animations back on so you can actually see the action. Troy got the shit kicked out of him, but... Yeah, their leader is having far worse problems. There we go. So now we're just on mop-up duty. Uh, I had Talithia change targets because... That last matchup for Talithia just wasn't working out very well. She can't hit very hard yet. I need to get those Amazons to turn into archers, and then we will finally be doing some damage. So it's important Tal Talithia gets some experience points, but depending on the matchup, she just won't be able to get anywhere. So Aethel and Talithia will be working together to mop up all these units we've left behind, and I will come back after a one-second screen wipe if there are new enemies to see or new situations to happen, but I think we've gotten past the hard part of this one. Most of the mop-up duty is now done, so I'm sending the units to different areas to start capturing cities. I don't really care where they go, I don't care which cities get captured, I just want to start capturing some cities. So we will meet back here when there are actual problems, like with that jackass I just saw, and uh, we'll go from there. As Kaelin moves out from headquarters to capture another city, we have found ourselves with a problem, and this is exactly why I said before that I was going to be a little bit more cautious with trying to capture every city, and... Oh boy. Kaelin is now absent her skeleton. Unfortunately, her skeleton went down, and when you have an undead unit, there is a chance that indeed your skeleton will, or zombie, will permanently be destroyed. And unfortunately, that happened to us. Now, Kaelin is still the most evil unit here, but it leaves her soldiers very exposed. So what I have to do... And the second most evil unit is... Uh, still neutral, which is not evil enough. So what I'm going to do is, Kaelin is still out there, she is going to do her job and capture all the high morale cities, but she will not fight. And what we will have to do is, between battles, I need to go fetch another skeleton, which unfortunately will bring down her level quite significantly. Uh, but I gotta do it, and then we, uh, we'll just have to build her back up. But as long as she remains the most evil unit, we're okay. Another quick thing is that I had to retool VCAP's unit here because Partha was a cleric, but she was healing for crap, and I was trying to figure out why, and looking at her numbers now, I see why. So the way Ogre Battle works is no matter what class your people are, when they level up, they gain uh, attribute points in specific categories based on what they were at the time they leveled up. So Partha... I don't remember what she was, but through all her level up, she has high strength and decent mentality, which is magic defense, and garbage intelligence by comparison, which is how she would heal. So I've switched her away from being a cleric to an Amazon. I want her to be a Valkyrie, but she's not qualified. So hopefully through a few more level ups, she can get there. But we switched her back to Amazon for now because, I don't know, she's just doing garbage. So that's why you want to keep your people roughly the same class throughout the entire game. Making a big change halfway through the campaign just isn't going to do your units any favors. Slappy has captured the city closest to the enemy home base, and we own the entire eastern half of this map. The only thing we don't own are these two cities over here. Slappy City is where the Witch's Hut is. So Galadriel has now been redispatched and is on her way there to get resurrected, or her unit, re her character resurrected, and we are continuing to do mop-up duty with Sin and Aethel. Now this city we managed to look at earlier, and this has a legion posted in it, 
so we need to be a little bit worried about it. What I'm going to do is once this unit is wiped out, we're going to reunite all other units aside from Slappy. We're going to reunite in the headquarters. Actually, no, we won't. We'll, we'll reunite in this city. And then we'll make our attack over here and over here against this legion with the vanguard while Slappy just is Slappy. And everything should be okay. Do you remember I said that you just get attached to your units and characters sometimes as you play a game like this? Turns out that the one who went down from Galadriel's unit is Vanilla, whose name I have been calling for. Whoa, that was unexpected. Come on back. Anyway, uh, that it's been Vanilla who was uh who is disrupted, so unfortunately I've been calling her name a lot during this series. So, didn't expect two enemies to just pop out like that. Um, seems that, uh... Boss has a trick up his sleeve, doesn't he? So, let's have Galadriel... Nah, eh, we'll have her rest up. I'm gonna... I guess they can just wait there until the vanguard gets here. Seems this battle's gonna take a bit longer than I thought. The boss, unfortunately, has some very formidable... Formidable... Formi <sighs> the boss has some very strong bodyguards. And, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to send Slappy in to do a little bit of damage. Um, I always hate doing this because, once again, parody is starting to not exist anymore. Sl Slappy is miles above the strength of everybody else. But sometimes I've got to do what I've got to do. So if we can at least knock down that leader, we'll be all right. But you can see here, they've got three archers all on the back row. And that combo can do an incredible amount of offense. I tried to have Galadriel come out and taunt them. And the battle engaged and it was over pretty quickly because Galadriel just can't handle that amount of offense. So... Because those archers are getting three attacks per turn back there. So if we can just whittle down their numbers, which we are doing, I will send Galadriel in to deal with mopping up this unit and the other unit that's floating around up there. But sometimes you just need your power unit to do some of the work, and this is one of those times because of the sheer amount of offense they've got. The nice thing is now that they're on the run, I can hit them from their rear, which means their archers will be in the front row, and they'll be a lot easier to deal with. Let me check their other... Is a pit? Let's check his... what's going on with him. Mm, he's got some issues, too. All right. Go ahead, Slappy. Why don't you just get up in there? And uh, Galadriel can now go. Let me make sure she's healthy. She took quite a beating in that last one. Yeah, her... Vanilla. Again, it's Vanilla who's extremely weak and was very close to death. I retreated from the battle because Vanilla would have gone down. There is just no question she would have gone down if I had let that battle come to term. So she is resting up in that city and Slappy can deal with trying to... There we go. Slappy can try to hurt that unit and get us a little bit of offense, so um, weaken them up for Galadriel. Just got a new Thunder Dragon for whatever good that is. Uh, uh, ah. Wonder if I set this to third person the camera won't jump. Um, so you can set, not that, didn't mean that at all. Um, you can set an option so that when they give the reports. Your you, your units give reports. It's in third person. I'm wondering if that will make sure the camera doesn't jump around. We'll see. So anyway, Slappy is once again just taunting here. He's just standing there daring people to come to him. And Puffed, or whatever his name was, was more than happy to take the challenge, but he's not going to like it very much. Yep. So there are times Slappy just needs to be Slappy and uh, do some damage to soften them up for the rest of the battalion. Slappy himself isn't ver gaining very many experience points out of this. And when he trains, he does. 
because when you train between battles, the enemies you train with are on your level. Like, they average out to whatever level is facing them. But in these battles, Slappy is so far ahead of level right now due to having to play defense before and do a lot of the work and also do a lot of training while I try to chase those elemental pagers that I don't have, that his level is ridiculous. And this is at the point where if I really wanted to, I could basically just have Slappy beat the game himself by sending his unit everywhere and just destroying enemies left and right. But I don't find that fun. It's not fun to watch. It's not fun to play. And I, I just don't like doing it. So once Galadriel gets healed, we will, uh, we will get her. Come on, get in the camp. My God, it's taking you forever. Once Galadriel's units, I should say once Galadriel, once Vanilla heals, we'll send Galadriel out to start mopping up those three units that are up there. And in the meantime, oh, this is taking forever. Kalen still doesn't have. Um, oh yeah, it didn't look like it jumped the camera. Hold on, let's see. Let's have Sin go over here, and I'm gonna see if the camera jumps once she goes over there. So, what I'm going to do is we're gonna take Kalen back. We're gonna remove. Yeah, it doesn't jump the camera. That's good to know. Um. Although I, I do like having it on first person, usually. Just when there's a lot of shit going on, I don't like having uh, those reports. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back once this battle is over. I'm going to try to get Kaelin two skeletons rather than one and replace the soldier unit with a skeleton. The skeleton will still only be able to attack once, but whatever. Whatever, man. All right, Rudcliffe. So this... Mm, that's unpleasant. That's a very strong unit I'm looking at. Two archers, two phalanxes, and a cataract. Cat cataphract. <sighs> All right, well, nothing to do but to send the vanguard and hope for the best. So... Um, oh yeah, what's the city? Let's check the city's morale. 50. Alright, so it doesn't matter who goes after it. Okay, all units in the vanguard, please proceed to take this stronghold. I accept Kalen. Kalen, you stay back, because you are not doing well. In fact, I could withdraw Kalen if the final city up there doesn't need... Or if the final city where the legion is over there has low morale, then Kalen will not be able to capture it, and I can uh, withdraw her entirely. I checked and Cute Shaman is once again the highest morale unit other than Slappy himself, so I'm not sure what changed there other than battle victories. Ah, oh, nope, it's high morale. All right, so Kalen has to stay out in the field, and once we capture this city, we will carefully deal with that legion. I'm probably going to do the same thing I did in the last one where I charge the vanguard forward, um, try to see what's going on, and very slowly pick at their flanks and their core unit until I can get to them. But this is just going to be a fucking mad pile of bullshit. I'm not sure who's going to come out of this one in one piece. Those archers are going to do some serious damage. Yup. This is about even other than those archers. It's those archers, man. Archers hit hard. That's why I want archers. I don't just want Amazons. I want archers. And you don't get to see the requirements for upgrading to a new class until you get at least one of those class. So until one of these Amazons qualifies to be an archer, we're never going to know what it takes to be an archer. We just have to keep working at it. But this is the only way we can approach this castle, especially for a well-defended unit like this one. We just need to pound away and chip away at their health. Luckily, most of our units are pretty decent. Like, Sheen's okay. Sheen is okay, and especially since it's nothing but Ravenmen, 
Well, I was gonna say they should be able to dodge attacks well, but fuck that. Apparently they're just gonna get the shit kicked out of them. At least they're chipping away at the cataphract's health, but... This isn't exactly a good performance for Sheen. I'm rating this a D. They didn't get the shit kicked out of them, but oh, they're about to lose someone, too. Yep. That's all right. We've done worse. Okay, hold on, Sheen. Let me let me get you healed up real quick before you just run off like an idiot. At least the middle guy. Sevel Se Sevelini? Sounds Italian. Hey, Jam Starro gets to fight. I think this is Jam Starro's first appearance as Jam Starro. So he's got a fairly decent group behind him. I mean, he's got three sorceresses in the back and a ninja in the front. Oof. Oof. God damn. All right, I guess we're withdrawing after the sorceresses take their attacks. God damn. Wow! That was a lot of critical hits. Ugh, oh, archers, man. Jam, come on. Get your shit together. And they only get to carry two heal leaves. Which is the fucking worst. Maybe I should just give Jam's unit nothing but heal seeds, because... Clearly... I mean, at this point, it's got to be quantity, or quality, because they have no quantity. Oh, we're running them off? Well, that's good. All right, that's a liberation. Couldn't do anything about it. We're going to mop up this unit and then proceed east. The vanguard is positioned outside whatever city this is that has their legion, which is the last remaining defense they have before the boss, and the Legion clearly does not want to move, so I need to help it move. Let's see if we can determine a point of attack here. Both units have <coughs> strong defensive shooters in the rear. Alright, we're gonna take Aethel. And we're going to see if I can flank the unit on the right. Because the unit on the right, that's Pelene's unit. Pelene has two dragons in the rear. So if we can take her from the flank, that will make... That will put one dragon in the front instead. And take away his massive, strong super attack. Uh, I guess first Sheen is going to handle this dragon which does not have much left but it's been one of those units that's just been flying about so I've had a hard time getting to it and I wonder if Sheen's tired usually the magic attacks from the back will hit a little harder yeah, that's not much at all that or it's just a bad matchup against this particular dragon During one of the time skips, I accidentally found a way I can tell if uh, fatigue is causing an effect. Oh, it definitely is for him. See how all those numbers are red? That's because he's fatigued. So we are going to tell Sheen to just stop moving for a minute. Get his energy back. And then we'll keep pursuing that unit. Meanwhile... You can see Slappy is still staring down the boss. Galadriel is back here recovering after mopping up all the units down there. So let's see if I can pull this off. Unfortunately, there are no orders in the game that just say, you know, attack from the flank. Like, there we go. So you just sort of have to manually do it. And hopefully Aethel will be able to do some damage here. This is already looking up. I wonder if they're set to attack later. Yeah, they are. Holy crap. Uh, at one point, Aethel's unit, their soldier, turned into a 
full-fledged character. So I made him a Beastmaster because while sampling the different classes, I found that Beastmasters also attack from twice from the middle row, just like, um, just like, uh, Doll Mages. Wow, couldn't think of the word. Okay, that's a win, but the problem is the other unit is going to slide over, and I'm only going to have a second to react to it. So, let's check levels formation once again. If I attack him from the right, their dragon is in the back row, so I'm still going to get hit by all of them, but their beast masters will be a lot more neutered. We hit twice from their leader, but only one twice from Maverick, but once from Orville. So this this formation doesn't really help me very much. But I don't really have a choice. I don't think I can retreat quickly enough. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay, we're okay. Alright, so then instead. Let's check Mandy's unit. Mandy's got a bunch of useless soldiers. All right, so our weakest unit is Sin. We're going to hit Sin from this angle. And, or we're gonna take Sin and hit Mandy from this angle. We're gonna try to take Mandy's flank. Oh yeah, Sheen has some weird bullshit, he says. I skipped over it, but he says some weird bullshit. It's really a little entertaining. All right, so. Hold on. Okay, so Sin, I need you to come up here. Like, I need you to avoid the enemy, please. <coughs> Excuse me. A little frog in my throat. Alright. So this is still- Yeah, that's a lot better. Those hits are a lot better. So it was just because Sheen was exhausted. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to get Sheen back up here with the rest of the Vanguard. And he will prepare to attack East as well. All the Cool, he says. Okay, who's stupid enough to fight me now? Yeah, <laughs> douche. All right, let's get him over here. And meanwhile, we're going to try to have Sin flank Mandy. Now, after that, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Because if we if you take out a core unit, then the entire Legion breaks apart. So I don't know what direction that last unit is going to move in after that. But let's see. Let's see what happens. We'll definitely win this. I'm not sure if we'll be able to take Mandy herself out, though. Which might push the other unit of her legion backwards as well. But one thing at a time. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, we got close, but we couldn't take her out. That was an easy win. Let's see what happens to the legion now. Okay. Now this is useful for me. Mm, I don't know what's about to happen. All right, Sin, you just hold your position for a second. Okay. This will break her apart because, oh, well, never mind. I was going to say there's no way she'll survive this, but the soldiers will be able to absorb most of this damage. Are you set to lead her? There you are. Wow. Usually they try to cut directly to the leader, but... Aethel's unit's acting a little bloodthirsty right now. Yeah, if they had concentrated on that front soldier unit, it wouldn't exist anymore, but they didn't. They spread out their damage a little bit. So we push them back again. Okay. Um, I don't want to move Kalen up yet. All right, let's 
not ideal, but... Mm, that's not a good matchup for Sin. I don't think she's got enough offense, offensive power to... Well... Yeah, she doesn't have enough offensive power to win this fight. She'll be okay. She's not going to die, but... Yeah, she won't even be able to take the leader down. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But it's not worth burning a page or four. We'll just take the loss and move on. Those dragons, man. They're... They're not, they're not too weak. All right, but now that he's softened up, well, let's see what happens before I do anything. Let's see how that Legion gets on. Oh, the Legion's, nope, never mind. What the fuck are they doing? Well, they just gave me their back, so I'll take it. I'll be more than happy to take their back. Yeah, go ahead and rest, Shane. You're you're pretty exhausted. I think Sin's getting pretty tired too. But luckily, this is an easy fight. Although once again, their soldiers rotated, so we don't have a clean shot to Mandy. Man, there's a unit or a character down. Two characters down. I wonder if that'll. No, they've still got one soldier, so I think their legion will still survive. Hmm, that's awkward. We'll win that fight too, but it's very awkward because they're not going to be able to do enough damage to stop us. Okay. Sin, why don't you just hang out for a minute? This is very odd. The, the, this, and, this is why I don't like legions. They move so weird. I mean, I don't like using legions for myself. They move weird. They act weird. Oh, god damn. Well, this should be an easy win. Or an easy... If not a win, then at least we'll take their leader out. A lot would have to go wrong. God damn. I th I was worried about sending Aethel's unit into this. Good job, Mr. Spear guy. I guess Aethel's unit... Aethel's unit is really good if I'm facing a frontline fighter. Or a unit with a frontline leader, because... They do quite a bit of offense. More offense than I've given them credit for. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now they're just down to their little... Right, okay. Um, Sin, pop out, quick. All right, now... Try to finish them off. Finish Mandy out. Finish Mandy off. And then I'm going to have to withdraw her immediately because if the battle ends like this, then Sin takes the city and probably won't capture it. So if I field pause and then give Sin another order immediately, everything will be fine. So that's going to wrap this bit up. I'm going to send Sin north to help mop up the units and... When I come back, we'll make our final push against the boss here. The vanguard of the battalion is ready to fight the boss, and Slappy is in the rear, as you can see. Well, maybe not too far in the rear. He's at the rear of the vanguard, and he'll step in if necessary. But as usual, I want to try to divvy up the experience points, so we're going to send the vanguard instead. Step Slappy will step in if absolutely necessary. 
but I don't think it will be necessary. Kaylin is still over to the west because she is too crippled to fight, and I forget which unit is way in the back at headquarters, but somebody is. And here we go against Proofless. Bring it, Proofless. I see you belong to the Revolutionary Army. Why must you be so foolish? What made you think you could oppose Lotus and live? Who are you? No, you can't be... Excuse me for not introducing myself. My name is Proofless. Proofless Watts of the Caligonus Order. This is the Brigade of the Radiant Cross. I'm sure you've heard of us. Go tell the others and cower in fear. If you survive, that is. Yeah, I, I think we'll be fine, buddy. Especially since you're in the front row like a dipshit and we have access to your face. Whoa, that was a hard hit. Uh, that's nothing we can't handle. Might lose a soldier in the process, but that's definitely not something we can't handle. We'll do a little bit of damage and then move on. Of course, everyone in the front is going to get three attacks against us, and that's going to be unpleasant. But guess what, you jerk-offs? We have Elemental Pedras! Which, apparently, the Pedra has decided to spread out the damage, which was not smart. But okay, I guess that's a thing that's just happened. And even though... Oof. Even though, um... We'll lose the fight. We'll probably have done enough da- Oh shit. That's not good. Well, there's a resurrection I'm gonna have to do after this fight. After this battle. Hopefully he doesn't turn- I guess if he turns into a zombie, I might be able to use him for Kaelin's unit. Oh, whatever. Anyway, the point is, we're not giving him time to recover. So Galadriel, or not Galadriel, but uh, Proofless here does not have that much health left. I believe we can take him out here because the Sorceress and Valkyrie will be able to hit him. And even if he blocks, we'll still do a little damage. Ugh. Oh. Come on, Oz Osnabel. Osnabel. Double lightning! Suck it, Proofless, you douche nozzle. And level ups around. Hooray! Mmm, impressive. Most impressive. That's enough for today. I'm glad to have witnessed your strength with my own eyes. Bye, you cowardly ass. You ass. Hooray! Liberation complete. We are about halfway through the game. We got all the cities, so hopefully we should have plenty of soldiers. Battle took us a while, but eh, it's not bad. I like having the ten soldiers. I was mainly looking at the cash bucks there. Wish I could have gotten some more, but that's fine. I don't know what how it determines whether we get more money or not. Well, this looks familiar, doesn't it? My lord, it's getting cold. We should go inside. I want... power. Huh? Why... Why am I so powerless? This would have never happened if I had power. Am I wrong, Mari? Mary? Oh, it's probably Mary. Slappy. Slappy and Ankaseth came to me. But I'm once again alone. What should I do? How can I walk proudly among them? I want power beyond that of Ankaseth and Slappy. I want them to look up to me. No. I want them bound. I want them to be bound to me. Ooh. Hope that wasn't a Freudian slip. My lord, you... You are already entitled to it. Is that raid? 
Wait, Raid's dead. Oh, Richard. What voice the, uh, or Baldwin. Oh yeah, I gave him the... Prince Yumel, you haven't realized. You are entitled to the power that only can be wielded by the royal family. I'm sure you know the legend, how the progenitor gained ultimate power. If you wield that power, everyone, including us, will kneel before you. Lotus? Kneel before me? You misunderstand us. We subjugate kingdoms solely to maintain order in this world by spreading our ancient teachings. If a land is ruled by a powerless fool, we must step in. And if it's ruled by a sage, we pledge our loyalty to him. To lead the people. That is what the powerful are designed to do. Destined to do. It's natural for the weak to follow. Prince Yumel, only you are worthy of wielding the ultimate power. Use your might and wisdom to deliver this corrupt world from evil. Stop! Leave me be. Who are you? Your power, that spell. Woman, how did you gain such power? <laughs> so, you were sent by Zeta as I expected. What are you planning? Don't cross us again. Next time, I will kill you. Tell that to Zeta, too. I have the potential to change the world? The power of the progenitor? If that's true, I want it. I would strongly suspect the intentions of Lotus, but fair enough. You are not alone. I'm here by your side. Mary? I will help you acquire it, my lord. I will grant your wish. Oh, you all. Making so many mistakes. So I suppose that will do it for today, unless we happen to have another birthday I need to cash in. Uh, happy birthday, turn 21. Nope, I've got that one already. All right, so that's going to do it for today. Um, we're moving along at a pretty okay clip, I guess, even though it doesn't feel like it. But anyway... We'll deal with Fair Heights in the next episode. We're going to get a special character while we're there. Between episodes, I'm going to go get some more skeletons and try to get that last elemental Pedra for us. Not the last one, but the next one I can get. And hopefully I have some money left over for more training. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode.